Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to present in presenter mode via Microsoft Teams. Um, this actually seems more difficult than it actually is once you kind of know exactly how to go about doing it. Um, it becomes super easy and efficient. Um, if you find this video useful, you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here I am just within my general channel for my supply chain team. And what I'm going to do is to do a quick meet now um, and set up a meeting uh, to show you guys how to actually go about um, presenting a PowerPoint presentation in presenter view. Um, so here I am just going to turn the camera off and the microphone off and click join now. You may also notice that I'm using the new meeting experience so my video calls are actually in their own little boxes um, and therefore I can use multiple screens and continue using um, Teams application as needed. Um, so here I am now just within this uh, meeting. So the first thing that we want to do is actually get into the sharing mode. So we're just going to click on share content here in the top right hand side and for anyone who's not using this experience you'll still have your control bar um, under here where you'll be able to get to the exact same button so I'm just going to give that a click and now we can see um, there's in essence actually um, three different ways or so to actually go about doing this um, there is the um, right way about doing it and then the not so right way okay so this is the presentation that i am looking to actually share and the main thing you want to do is actually make sure that this is actually open on your um, desktop okay so the presentation that you want to share has to be open that's rule number one if i just flick back into um, this meeting here if we click that share button what we can do is we can see that there's the desktop right so i have two screens there's the windows I'm only seeing the four recently activated windows and then there's the PowerPoint presentations that have been uploaded okay and then there's the whiteboard um, and obviously you can share content and then upload them so in theory there's three different ways that we can go about sharing a PowerPoint presentation we can share it from the desktop right but then your participants are going to see absolutely everything that you see so that wouldn't be right there's the PowerPoint presentations that are uploaded to Microsoft Teams, SharePoint, OneDrive, etc. Um, they get you part way there where you can see the notes, but it's not fully, um, a, a, not a full presenter view. Um, so it's a little bit clunky um, and not the best way to do it. Instead, what you want to do is make sure that you use the window version of the PowerPoint presentation, which is why you have to have it open in the background. Okay. So this presentation here uh, is the one that I want. I'm going to make sure I include my computer sound. Um, and that is mainly because um, the presentation has audio in it. So I have audio tracks and video. So I'm going to include the computer sounds um, and then I'm going to click on the YouTube examples here. Now I am in this um, meeting is basically now launched. Um, the presentation. Now we're not in presentation, uh, presentation mode uh, yet. Um, we can minimize this little dialog box um, just here and remove that. And what I'm also going to do is just remove my webcam to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see the presentation, right? Okay, so what, the first thing you want to be able to do is obviously navigate to um, show the slide uh, slideshow, right? So there's the tab at the top here called slideshow. We can give that a click and then we can click um, to start from the beginning here or at the bottom we can click on the presenter um, or, or to start the slideshow from there as well now um, if I just click from beginning here what we can do is we can see that um, the presentation has started but obviously this is not um, presenter mode yet so instead what we can do is we can right click on the presentation and click show presenter view and that is actually coming up on my other screen so let me just flip that around one second okay so there we go now I am in presenter view and you should be seeing exactly um, what you would expect right so we have this um, slide just here uh, which is the current slide and I can start to click through um, each of the elements as needed okay um, and then we can see what slides happening next um, and we have the notes um, for slide one not much happening here it's obviously got background music playing as you can hear um, now if we go to the next 
next slide we have that music uh, that music has stopped and we have the video taking its place as well okay so now that is also being presented now um, what you can see is if I flick between these two views this is what um, the participants are seeing okay and this is what you are seeing okay so you're getting that full experience on the presenter view and everyone in the part uh, in the meeting is actually seeing the full um, presentation as you designed it okay and we can continue to go through um, and see each part and then once the presentation has ended um, we can end the presentation as such okay and that is basically how you'd go about um, going into a uh, Microsoft Teams meeting um, wherever I've got that over here right so this meeting um, with our little uh, meeting dialog box um, and sharing the presentation as it was intended to be shared rather than us having to um, potentially show participants um, our notes um, in that presenter view which obviously then shrinks the presentation down a little bit for um, the participants or only really having them uh, our access to a limited amount of notes and not really seeing what's coming up next um, as you would get through the presenter view so um, I'm going to just with this uh, presentation end it quickly there and bring up our meeting like normal and just pull that back so um, that's how you'd go about doing it it's just important to make sure that you have the presentation open in the background um, and that you use the window version of the presentation and not the PowerPoint version and not the desktop um, and if you have audio uh, in your presentation make sure you are enabling your um, computer sound as well um, and guys, I hopefully you found this useful and I know a lot of people sometimes find it quite complicated in how you get into presenter view um, via Microsoft Teams. But once you know that you want to be using the window version um, of the presentation and not the PowerPoint version and not the desktop version, um, then it just makes everything so much more um, simple um, for you guys. So if you found this useful, you know what to do and I will catch you guys in the next video.